Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back again for another reaction to the latest episode of Amberlynn Reed <laughs> and the Amberlynn Reed channel. And uh, she has a new video out today. Very thrilled, excited, because it includes a big grocery haul. I'll be the judge of that. I watch a lot of grocery hauls, and I have seen Big Bestie. But let me let me just read the title for you, okay? Big grocery haul, jealousy and my relationship, and bad allergic reaction. Bar vlog. Somebody said they appreciated a more toned down bar, so I'm gonna switch it up every once in a while. I'm just gonna, some days it's gonna be a little submissive, subdued bar, <laughs> and other days it's gonna be big dom top energy bar, okay? Today she's feeling a little, a little submissive, a little subtle, a little subdued. Also though, before we get into the reaction, I did just want to share this community tab post that Amber Lynn did. Uh, regarding uh, coming up with some ideas and things like that. It's not, you know, the first time that she's ever, ever done one of these things, situation types of deals. But I did just want to share it because I thought it was interesting and it's also now deleted, so you might have missed it. But she posted this, I really want to start a series on my channel. All the series I've done in the past is something I thoroughly enjoyed, but not many people seem to as well. As viewers, what kind of series would you like to see from me? Be realistic, constructive, and objectively unbiased, please. Also, this is just a word salad. Like, what does even some of this mean, and where's the grammar? Thank you, asterisk. I know what series I'm going to do next. I just want to see if it is also suggested, so it'll be a good indicator it is something people want to see, asterisk lip emoji. And I, I didn't get to see, this is actually a screenshot that I took from some of my friends from, from the twitch.tv slash the Zachary Mike. Uh, they keep me informed on things that I sometimes miss. So I didn't get to read the comments, but I imagine what some of those comments look like, like a let's go outside series, a, well, you can even see here, taking Twinkie to a dog park series. And it's all interesting because if you don't remember the last time that she was doing these series, she called them all something different, like 500 pound girl series and uh, what I eat in a day for 10 days series or something like that. And they all basically amounted to just being Amberlynn vlogs. I don't know who she thinks she is, that she's like, you know, Shane Dawson out here releasing series and things like that. But they almost always just end up being vlogs. And I don't know what the motivation for her deleting this community tab post is these days or now in this situation. I don't know if she just like didn't like the responses she was getting or if she just decided she didn't want input from people or or what it was. But I imagine that, you know, people gave a lot of actual um, objectively unbiased thoughts and opinions like she asked for and she felt that they were not objectively unbiased. <laughs> and she probably didn't like people telling her that she needed to film herself going outside. And honestly, that, that ship has probably sailed for at least a while. I imagine we're not gonna get to see her doing those things. I feel like she is like holding interesting content over our heads because you know, in the past when she um, stop doing things. I can't remember what it was, but there was something that she was doing that she was like, I can't do this on, on here anymore because y'all are stealing the joy from me. So I think she's just showing us the most mundane things because, you know, she wants to be like, well, you can't, you like, you, you guys ruin every fun thing I love and enjoy. Anyways, I feel like I really rambled through that. I was out pretty late last night with a friend, so I feel like I have a little bit of brain fro frog fog going on, see? Or maybe wifey is somewhere in the room with me, and maybe that's why I'm struggling with my words. But <laughs> let's just get into the fucking reaction. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get to let's get to. Hey guys! Hi! Welcome to a new video. So, I think we're out of my poop bun era because I've been wearing my hair in like a ponytail for days now. Okay. The stringy, you know, ponytail moment. <laughs> Which is fun. 
That little laugh. That got me, gal. That was funny. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we'll eventually return to the poop bun era. She's never really left. The poop bun era, she's always been present as a part of your channel. Sometimes she goes away for a little bit, but she always comes back. I, you know, embrace the pony. This is how I wore my hair every day in college. It was like this high... And <laughs> Oh, yeah. In college, and co like the whole entire one semester you went to college, or was it one year? But I, how? Why is she like reliving this like college era and like keeps bringing that up? I, I find that to be really interesting that we're referencing that a lot again, all because you're taking this one online psychology course or whatever. We're back in our college era. <laughs> you want you want to feel like you're a college student? Oh my grande situation and that was before you'll never be Ari thing. You know what I'm you, saying. you'll it's never be Ari ball, though. you'll never be Queen Ariana Grande how are you guys today I'm, I'm just fine. putting in some earrings I do like those earrings oh my God, I love these earrings with this dress in particular and those dresses I pockets okay <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think that they add anything specifically to that dress, like the the earrings, not the pockets. I know a girly loves a dress with pockets, but I, I, I don't think that they add anything special to the the dress. But as long as you feel great about how you look, I love it. I love a dress that has pockets, don't we, Queen and Kings? Yes, we do. But hello, welcome to a new vlog. Hello. Okay, you guys. She's got a little sass and energy today, huh? Oh, so in yesterday's video, a oh, subscriber sent me this beautiful uh, uh -huh. rose quartz tree. It looks like a, a limp dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I remember I was really hoping that it would be pickle bread, a dildo, when she was unboxing it, but, uh, I mean, it honestly looks like a flaccid penis, all, like, drooped over like that. Got a lot of questions. So, Feline helped me and untangled her, because, obviously, she comes a little tangled, which is okay. Uh -huh. But I wanted to... I'm gonna move you this. Still, you still got these these flowers? Do you remember when Wifey gave her those flowers so long ago? Very long ago. Like, that was, like, right at the beginning of their relationship. And, you know, at this point, she's allegedly had, like, two or three new wifeys or something like that at this point. I can't keep track. <laughs> but I love that she still has those green flowers. Wax not because we don't really use it. I'm and obsessed. That's going to be her little home for now. Okay, how work. cute. I mean, so I thank guess. Thank to the person who sent that. Y'all, I promise, I'm not that much of a messy eater. Girly. Girly dress. <laughs> so I'm watching the new episode of Grey's Anatomy, just, you know. Girly, what is this, this chess piece situation? Eat my lunch. Uh-huh. Next thing you know, I look down. And my shirt said, you know what? Your shirt, you just called that a dress moments ago. I was hungry. Now I have to change my dress. Does that happen to anyone else? Like, your boobs get hungry, your clothing gets hungry. It's like, girl, if I wanted to share, I would share, okay? Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna huh. wear this in right here. <laughs> oh, this is a classic, but <laughs> wait, my brain is still processing her boobulas getting hungry. Ah, feed me! I mean, I think actually probably a lot of people uh, with with large chests could probably relate to that actually truly but it's just like a mental image of Amberlynn's boobulas going I'm hungry feed me <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me it's been a minute in my opinion this dress it's a little iconic does anyone want to buy it for a thousand dollars I'm about to put it on <laughs> I think she's such a cute dress. She's just a little trendy. That That editing was was more impressive than any editing she's done in recent history. Because especially, she used to try to do those little edits all the time, and they were not smooth transitions at all. So, wow, way to improve your content, bestie. little trauma-based. <gasps> This was from the walk. I for I knew this was an iconic dress, but I forgot it was from the walk into the tree. Oh my god, this is kind of trauma based for me too because it was me reacting to her walking to a tree that led to her reacting to me reacting to her walking to a tree, which led to like her and Chantal calling me ableist, and then we had a big conversation about that. And wow, 
Wow. It also was, you know, kind of trauma-based because when she reacted to me reacting to her, she edited it in a way that made it seem like I did something I didn't. I remember all of this now. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. It's coming back to me now. I would love to see... <gasps> oh, that's little Ch Chonk. What was his name? Chubbs or Chonk? <laughs> that was that was Eric and Ricky's little dog. I would love to see this content. You want let's let's recreate some of your iconic moments. You know, you want to talk about Shrimpgate and like react to it. I would like to see you recreate iconic moments like this. Like show us you walking to multiple trees now. You know what I'm saying? Find a tree and walk to it. <sighs> Imagine, oh, oh, she's got to put in these, she's got to put in these, uh, <laughs> these comments from years ago. Also, though, I wonder when this comment is in regards to, like, when she actually posted it, because somebody pointed out after the fact from the Shrimpgate video that the Shrimpgate video itself was, like, from four or five years ago, and she was showing comments that happened, like, two or three years ago after the fact, you know? Like, she was showing stuff that people who did not watch at the time were saying, you know? So she wasn't even including comments from uh, people who were actually upset at the time, and so I'm just curious. I mean, maybe it, it matters less in this situation, but I am curious. Oh my god. Why, what, what's the point of this? What's the point of this? What's the point of showing all of this, honestly? Because this is taking me this is taking me back to the last video where she answered the person's question about how she was going to mend her relationship with her supporters when all she does is focus on the negativity. And look what she's doing. She's bringing negativity back onto her channel from a, a video she posted years ago. I don't understand. I'm going to go keep watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm actually watching it on my laptop, which I have with me. Oh, wow. I have my laptop everywhere because <laughs> I always have my headphones that's in. So, um, that's so unnecessary. Goodness. Okay, next day. Stunning. Hello. Welcome we're, to the next day. We're back in the, the so bathroom. I'm staring at my ceiling. <laughs> I'm gonna explain why. Yeah, um, let me know, cinematographer Lynn. So, I'm allergic to cats, and I have two cats. Uh huh. And normally, we are all able to function together as yeah. a family. I'm normally okay. I'm normally fine. Um, the cats do sleep in my bedroom with okay. me. Okay. I have my bedroom door open all night, so they're free to do what they want. So normally, Wasabi will sleep on the foot of the bed. So will Rarity, or they'll sleep like on the floor next uh -huh. to the bed. But Wasabi slept on my chest Ooh. the whole night. Okay. And I want to show you what happened because of that. My eye. Oh, okay. You know what? She doesn't look the same as she always does. <laughs> There's definitely something happening with her eye. For sure, for sure. Looks like this. Oh, my God. Yeah, that looks so miserable. Massive allergic reaction. I'm hoping in a couple hours it'll. I feel like up. Bestie, take a Benadryl. This has happened multiple times before. I'm not coming for him. I love him so uh, much. Why does she do that? Where? Where? What? What Gen Z person on TikTok did she steal that from? And I think he just needed mama love. Um, I guess. And I'm okay with that. If you're good to mama. Mama's good to you. Back up with this. It hurts, but it'll be okay. I just need to stop itching it. Yeah, Bessie, take um, a Benadryl. So I just wanted to warn you. Sure, that. surely, if you're allergic to cats, I'm sure you. I, I mean, if it was me, I would keep just some like Allegra, Benadryl, some kind of allergy medicine on me on hand in case of things like this. Yes. This is what happened when your eye itches because you're allergic to your cats. You're allergic to your children, basically. <laughs> and you itch it over and over like a damn loser. 
It's like you'd uh, think I would have learned. I mean... No. I would think you would have learned a lot of things in your time on YouTube, and you haven't, Bestie, so I'm not really surprised that you can't learn to stop itching your eye. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Alright. Um, Bye. I'm actually about to go to the grocery store looking like this. Okay, oh, work. Can we go? Baby. Can we go with? Such a shame, such a shame. Alright, you guys, it is time for a oh, massive haul. So let's get into Damn. it. Damn. Uh, you know what, though? I don't know if this is as massive as I'd like it. I love a massive haul. What do y'all know about a massive haul? <laughs> I'm literally so annoying today. I'm annoyed with myself, and I'm sure you are, too. First things first, we needed some toilet paper. Yes, so clean that booty that. hole. Clean it. I was just going to get half gallon, but they didn't have it. So I had to get the bigger one. A bigger thing of milk. Bananas. Love a banana. A thing of lemons, because I want to have lemon water. Uh, some mint. Health queen, yes. For some mint lemon water. Yes. By the way, my eye is already like drastically better. It still looks kind of rough. But <laughs> some raspberries. And the smallest cucumbers I have ever seen in my actual oh, life. Oh, those are so cute. And I just saw a girl on TikTok. She, well, a woman a woman on TikTok, she had these little baby cucumbers and she's like, I'm gonna make pickles with them. And it was so adorable. Amber Lynn, could you make some pickles? Could you, could you make some? I would love to see your pickle recipe. They're so cute. So I got some rice cakes. This is probably like the healthiest version of a chip you can is buy. Is it? Is it? <laughs> it's literally just rice cakes. Um, is it though? What makes it What makes it a healthy version of chips? I would like to understand your logic and reasoning behind that because I bet it has just as many like calories, just as many like sugars, carbohydrates. Like what part of it, what part of this rice cake makes it healthy? It has five grams of whole grains. Very, very um, low calorie. I got caramel. Okay. I got two caramels. Work. Because I have a massive sweet tooth. Mm. And then for like lunch. <laughs> She's loving the word massive today. And every time she says that, I'm just like, ooh, what do you know about massive? I love a massive sweet tooth. I Like, it literally doesn't even make sense. It's like, truly shut the fuck up, Zachary Michael. Please. I'm begging you. Or a snack. I got these already like pre-bagged servings because... Uh, we, we're just going all in on the rice cakes. On the rice cake adjacent snacks as well. Okay, work, diva. I don't trust myself to have, like, a massive bag and then take out a mm. serving. So if I don't trust massive myself somewhere where again. it's like a trigger, then I need to work around it, figure out substitutes. So I used to use this flat out bread all the uh -huh. time, but I never had this one. This is a plant-based protein one. Okay. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna give that a go. For Work. one of these is only 90 calories and 10 proteins, so that's pretty great. I love that I love that we're leaving the 10 grams of protein out again. I'm glad we're going back to just like 10 protein, 10 carb. 10 sodium. So Feline really likes these uh, cauliflower crust pepperoni pizza life cuisine things. Ooh, okay. So I got three of them. Oh, my hair. <laughs> I do want to try one. So I'm interested because she says they're like really good. So I'm excited to try it. So I got some Atkins, which is good if you're doing like low carb, whatever it may be. Yeah, but you're not. But you're not doing <laughs> low carb. So you're just going to get the bubble guts from all the fake sugar in it. I'm also so confused because so much of this feels like, I don't know, not necessarily something she just talked about with her new diet. But I mean, I'm not here to nitpick. Live your truth. Eat what you want. I'm just like, where is all this coming from? Like, like I just said, you're not doing a low carb diet. So why are you buying Atkins? Um, these remind me of M&M's, but they're not. There's literally only one net carb and 130 calories. Okay, but, that, but, you, but you said you could have carbs. You said you were so surprised by how many carbs you could have. I needed some more coffee, so she just got some breakfast blend. And this one looks scary. Death Wish Coffee, the world's strongest coffee. Okay, she won't be sleeping for days. 
I got this, uh, it's by the That's brand That's not how Pines. coffee works. Us and Honey Granola with toasted coconut. It's a good source of fiber. Cause I need to up my fiber. Yeah. Um, up your fiber. Take a shit. Yes, let's go. I'm also just so confused because she got the, the low carb candies. I guess, I guess she wants to save carbs when she's eating her candies, but like all these other things she's shown are like carb filled. I don't get it. So I figured throw this on some yogurt. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yogurt, we had to get some. So I got the Shobani Zero Sugar Strawberry Cheesecake. They have a Work. zero sugar Ooh, one. So that sounds good. I figured I'd try it. I also got the Chobani, it's just regular vanilla Greek yogurt. Not my fave, but if I add some fruit and some granola, I think we'll be good. I got why two not, of these. Why not just get something that's your fave? <laughs> I don't understand the concept of being an adult and buying shit that's not your fave to eat. Like, why would I do that? Why would I subject myself to that? I don't get it. These uh, Chobani coconut Greek yogurt. I want to start drinking just the littlest bit of coffee in the morning because I notice it really does help with my appetite. Okay. Gives me a little bit of energy. Okay. So I just got some that's already made. <laughs> the work. Blind work. I'm pretty sure you've like shown us your whole coffee setup before and you could just make it yourself, but of course, you know, go for what's easy. Love that. Love that. Blind. No. Blonde roast. Feline said that it just has a less like strong potent it's, coffee. It's taste, just a li a, a lighter coffee. Yes, that's correct. I don't like coffee very much. Then why then why dr I guess you did just say it helps with your appetite or something, but like why drink it? <laughs> Why drink it? And also, do you not remember when you had your whole coffee moment? Was that during Vlogmas where she was showing us her fancy coffee drinks that she was making for herself every day? Um, I got some garlic and herb, cream cheese. Work. Love cream got cheese. some overnight oats that she wants to try. Uh, and the brand Mush. Ugh. I know. Not Ugh. Bud Bush. <laughs> oh! What do you know about a bush? <laughs> what do you know about a bush? One more time, take two. <laughs> Mush oats. Ew. She got apple, cinnamon, and blueberry. So these do go in the fridge, by the way, because they're cold. Got some broccoli. We are always broccoli, broccoli. queen. What's funny? Got some ground turkey. We already have yes. a pretty good amount of meat, so we didn't get too much turkey bacon. Yes. Just some, uh, All the turkey. So I got some lunch meat. This is my favorite. It's just the rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. Mm. Got some cayenne. I would love to introduce her to the world of going up to the deli counter and getting like their deli meats because they're so much better than those little Oscar Mayer packs. And I'm sure the quality is much better. But listen, I just I, I regularly get get the deli meat from the deli counter because it's very good. So much better. Pepper, we needed it. I love me a cottage cheese moment, so mm. I got some cottage cheese. Nothing like cream. nothing like a cottage cheese moment. Nothing like it. Do you know her? Do you know that girly from the, the TikTok? She's gonna be using oat milk creamer, sweet cream flavored, but I am gonna be using the zero sugar caramel macchiato moment. What? So many, so many zero sugar things for a girly who's like, I'm not on a low carb diet. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get it because it is like still probably helpful to do zero sugar stuff. And I'm somebody who's not necessarily on a low carb diet. And I just like prefer zero sugar things sometimes in some cases and some situation types of deals. But it is very interesting to me because she made such a big deal about how many carbs she could have every day which looks like this. Got some uh, fresh mozzarella pearls. Just a container of those. And then some ketchup. Okay, guys, so I normally don't... I, um, also, now that the, the whole grocery haul is over, I, I was kind of thinking this throughout, and I was just waiting until it was over to say something, but I find it also interesting that she's coming on here and showing all of that food after she also just went on a rant. Was it maybe the last vlog about how she didn't want to show her, her food and things like that because everybody always has an opinion about her food and blah, 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 blah. I don't know. It's just always, it's just interesting to me. I mean, I'm glad she's showing us that because it's like more interesting than some of the things she's been <laughs> showing us lately. Uh, so I'm not mad that she's showing it. I just am noting that I find it interesting. Film at this time. 
late at night, like after my shower or anything. Uh -huh. um, this is usually when I upload my video and I schedule it. But I realized in this video, I do not have an outro. I don't have PO box. Uh -huh. I don't have voice memo. Checks out. So I do want to talk a little bit Checks about out. the voice memo segment in my video. Yeah. Wait, before she does also, everybody, when I said that one of the voices sounded familiar, a lot of y'all were like, yeah, it sounds like Amber Lynn. And I just want to say, I just want to say this. Even my friend Emily, who's been on this channel before, who's, if you go back, you can find videos of her reacting to, I think, all of the girlfriend tags that Amber Lynn has ever done with people. But even Emily texted me and was like, Zach, that voice was Amber Lynn. I wasn't even looking at the screen, and I was like, why is Amber Lynn talking to herself? It was Amber Lynn. And I just want to say, I really don't believe that she's sending herself voice memos or questions on Instagram or any of those things. I really do believe that she's doing it on her own, or like, that people are sending it to, that, that just made it sound like I do think that she's sending them to herself. I'm telling you, wifey is hiding in here somewhere, because I just keep messing up all my words and thoughts and, and sent sentences. It's just a struggle today. We're struggling, but, <laughs> but I really do think people actually send her those things. I just, I just don't believe that she would put the energy into that because what has she put the energy into in recent history on her channel and then p.o box i am going to keep them because a lot of people enjoy them i enjoy them i love okay them. but obviously Great. there's a portion of people who think that it's just like taking up too much of my video which i understand well to be fair the last video it was like over half of it, the P.O. Box stuff and the, the questions, it was like the majority of your video. We just want to see some other things, too. If, if you want to do this, I, I guess that's fine. I, I don't think you should. I, I think it's just welcoming negativity. But, um, although the last one was pretty positive all the way around. But, like, if you want to do it, I'm just saying, can we get some other stuff in addition to it? You know, that's all I'm saying. So instead of like taking it out completely, I'm, I'm just going to make it Shorter. short form. I'm not going to yes. do so much longer. Yes. Kid, okay. Um, yes. Because I do want to keep it as part of. Okay. Videos, yes. It's special to me and it's fun. So I do want to start off with P.O. Box. Oh, work. <laughs> so I do want to say that I have been opening the packages before I start filming. Okay. So you guys don't have to see me like hassle with all that, but I okay. do not look inside. I do not peek. So it's still authentic. And, um, you guys get to see my reaction. Okay. So first things first, um, it's a box that says empirical food. So I don't really know. If it says what now, bestie? <laughs> it says what? I gotta hear her say that again. First, um, it's a box that says empirical food. So I don't really know. I'm, I, how, how did you look at that word and get whatever that was that just came out of your mouth? <laughs> Wifey's got her fucked up too. Listen, listen, let me be understanding. I'm not saying any of my words right. Uh, but this is less about saying your words right and just like fundamental reading. <laughs> it's imperfect foods. No, so if there's food in there. I hope This not. might be just a box that someone reused. I would, I would so, hope so. let's look. So I see a letter. Oh, we just got a letter. We just and got a letter. Of stuff. I'm okay. Going to read the it looks like there might have been some poop bags in there, like doggy poop bags. So this was super sweet and from Daphne, who actually has a organization that, that she does at VIPsfun.org, where the P stands for primates. It's a nonprofit. Okay. Where they help save lemurs and gorillas. And lemurs. Like so obviously, I'm not going to share the private stuff that she said in there. But if you I mean, go there, check out check out her actually putting a, a link somewhere. I mean, not one that's clickable, but at least she's clearly showing where to go this time to support somebody. Unlike the past, see, she is making improvements. This is effort. Okay, I'll I'll give you some credit for for doing the bare minimum <laughs> and help out in any way that you can please do. Daphne, your letter was super sweet and I'm so excited to see. Okay, you can stop here. you so can stop the the scrolling. I got it. I if I want to learn more, I'll go to the website and and figure it out myself. I don't need this continued scrolling. I'm good. A bag. 
that says... Oh, that's a fun toe. VIPs. Fun. That's a cute toe. And inside... We have a little seal. Oh, oh that is, is cute. Adorable. That's you cute. Know what? I always call Twinkie my little seal because I feel like she looks like one. This is so cute. And then there's this cute little thing. It honestly looks like a little mushroom. Uh, like, that's that what it adorable. is, bestie. That's so what it's supposed to, to be. Website, every single thing that you buy on there, 100% of the purchase is donated to wildlife conservation. That is amazing. And thank you so much, Daphne. So I figured I would do one more, which I did rip it You said there. I'm going to do one more, even though you just said you were going to keep this short form you're a lie <laughs> you're a lie but i didn't really see what it was i did see a wheel okay a wheel mobility direct okay. see th this is this is what i'm talking about y'all this is why i'm like why do you keep including this if you're trying to show positivity on your channel and yet you're you're continuing to show like the negativity like obviously somebody sent her this as a troll Somebody sent her this this wheelchair catalog as a troll. So someone thinks I need a little scooter. Fat phobia at its finest. After such a sweet thing, you know, it makes yeah, the world go round. This so, is and this is what I'm talking about. And you could have also just not included this. You literally just got done talking about short form stuff. In fact, I think you should stop including it. This is what I was saying about the incontinence pads. This is what I'm saying about all of it. It's like when you put it in and try to act unbothered, it's just going to encourage more people to send it. And if you just didn't show it whatsoever, I mean, obviously you have to open up these things to find out, but you could have clipped this out. You didn't have to include this clip. And you're, you're talking about how you want to like start giving more attention to the people who are doing positive things, but you just followed up a really sweet, positive package you got sent with this. <laughs> and it's just like, now we're going to focus on the negativity and Instead of the very sweet package that person sent you. A little bit of bad, a little bit of good. Yikes, I'm bites. Oh, but if you need to, a okay, reminder, so thing, that's where you can send stuff. We're going to do a voice memo because I like being interviewed by you. Hi, Queen. I'm Ooh. here and I wanted to ask. Ooh, I love a deep voice. A deep, raspy voice. Mmm, gets me going. <laughs> I just love them. I love them. I think it's because I've never had a deep, raspy voice. <laughs> I just aspire. Maybe, well, maybe I don't need one. I'm very happy with my voice these days, but I love a deep, raspy voice. That's why I like Feline's voice every once in a while. Are you a jealous person, and how do you deal with jealousy in relationships? Mm. Thank you so much for the question. Um, so jealousy in relationships, yes, I am a jealous person, and I think I, it's that, because yeah. I am not a confident person. A lot of people seem to think that I am confident, but I promise oh, that it's I that's not a word I would have used to describe you at all. No, it's not the case. I guess it just comes off that way because I do YouTube. But how I deal with it is like I try my hardest to trust the person that I am with mm. and be confident in our relationship. I don't have to be confident about myself. Sure. But I want to be confident in the person that I'm with and trust that they wouldn't do anything to hurt me. So I know that's easier said than done, but I, I try my best to do that. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right. I love that she clickbaited jealousy in my relationship for that two, two second long answer to that question at the end of it. Love, love a good, I mean, it's not clickbait because she did technically talk about it, but it's like, oh, you really, you really, that was the most exciting uh, part of that video title and you really buried it right at the very end of the video. So cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Amazing. Wow. Um, wow. What to say? What to say? <laughs> I think the only thing that I really am taking from this video is that she's not really serious about not highlighting the negativity because she highlighted those comments from a video three years ago and she still showed the, the negativity she got in her P.O. box. It doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. But here we are, besties. Just another day in Amberland. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to me down below if you haven't already. Click the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Hit like, click share to share with all of your friends and family. And also make sure to follow me on all of my social media. I had so much fun with y'all today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!